The Supreme Court of Nigeria reviewed its judgment, which it earlier gave on 14 October 2021. In the said judgment, the Supreme Court, while delivering ruling on the appeal filed by Mr. Judo KK against the judgment of the Appeal Court Kano Division, stated that the removal of Victor Oye was not justified and the appeal was struck out. It was on this basis that Independent National Electoral Commission recognized Mr. Oye. But on Monday, the Supreme Court sat again to review the judgment. Mr. Edozie Njoku had written to the Supreme Court, demanding a review of the judgment on the grounds that it was not Victor Oye, but rather Mr. Edozie, that was removed by the Jigawa State High Court, which was challenged at the Court of Appeal, Kanu. Mr. Njoku told the Supreme Court that Mr. Oye was an interloper who sought to join the appeal and should have been mentioned in page 13 of the judgment as the national chairman of APGA. The five-man panel therefore reviewed the judgment, corrected the error and declared the name of Mr. Dozier Njoku as the national chairman of APGA. Nigeria has over 200 universities and yet still faces challenges of access to university education. With only a few specialized universities in the country, many have been deprived the opportunity to study courses related to their passion. But this is changing. I mean, the 12 private universities being presented operational licenses by the federal government. One is meant to meet the needs of sportsmen and women in the country. The Sports University Idumuje Ubuku Delta State will provide an opportunity for sportsmen and women to train and be educated at the same time. We hope to start academic sessions in September. The, L, the latest will be in January of next year. We want to create many more Choma Jumas. We want to transform sports. We want to encourage sportsmen and women. There's no such support now. This university, university will give them the best opportunity. Since the launch of Operation Octopus Grieve in April, ending illegal bunkering is the mandate the Nigerian Navy intends to pursue to bring to an end crude oil theft in the Niger Delta. Operation Octopus Grip, in a joint operation with Dakata Dabarao, paraded six suspects at the NNS Delta after they were arrested at the supply axis of the East West Road. They have 160,000 liters of illegally refined diesel, DPK, and stolen crude. The Nigerian Navy also restated its zero tolerance for crude oil theft, illegal bunkering, and sundry crimes depleting the reserve of the country. 